I've got my hot cup of coffee. It's time to react to your Fusion World gameplay once again. If you don't know how to share your replays, click on the battle record behind my webcam on the home screen. Click the details of a game that you want to share. Make sure you press release so it's public and I can watch it and issue replay ID. This will be copied to your clipboard and you can paste it in the comment section of this video and maybe i'll react to it next time we do one of these videos so the first match we are watching is sent by kitty zero fun matchup i had against topku with my goku black deck this will be very interesting we haven't reacted to a goku black player just yet so let's see what kitty zero has to offer all right usually in this matchup here goku black has maybe a 30 percent chance of winning still possible but um of course if top crew has a great start which not the greatest you want to see roshi this is pre ban list i want to say um the digital version is still um running wild with top coups for the last week or so so we are just going for the trunks we gets played and the swing right here. The problem with Goku Black is that he wants to awaken as fast as possible. So he can pull out Goku Black as fast as possible. But also, then you get into that situation where you are now pressured um, against a awakened leader. With Top Coup, you know, swarming the field. So you only have so much life to be able to protect, right? And able to take hits for. Gawasu with no search is quite insane that you actually won this. Ribrian charged. Whis will pop another Gawasu. And we do have Roji in the hand here, but also hit. The hit will be played here. Probably not the... I guess it... Yeah, I think that's okay play. <laughs> In, in no sense, maybe, Roshi, but then we see that we have Zomasu in the hand. So we are now at 5. Good thing is, we don't need to run self-awakeners when versing top crew. Sinister Sickle. And another critical. I realized we didn't swing in the last turn, which is a smart move. Something that I should have done in my Goku Black gameplay. And we see a super combo going. Wow. All right. So this top crew is trying to play it for the long run, the slow run, which still works. Because you can still... Sp it's like just running Beerus or something without using the ability. And then we play Kefla into Piccolo for the drawing. So now that Goku Black is awakened, things will get quite interesting. We don't have enough energy to pull out Goku Black, though. So it will probably be the one cost Zamasu into something else. Ditching away Zeno is crazy. And Kevlar is only 20k here. Because the leader is not awakened. Oh, we're going for the Vegeta 4 cost critical. And yeah, this is too much of an investment to get protecting with the Kefla. 30,000 board is pretty tough to deal with, especially with not an awakened Goku. You can go Kefla into Gohan and then swing. But Gohan's only 20k as well. I think he should have just went... Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> But Vegeta is definitely going to come back if he decides to let this go. He'll probably pull it back with the Goku Black. Because what else do we have in our drop? Not much other options. We could like get like another Searcher or something. We do have the lower hand size. And we have to get rid of this board here. Charging one of the Goku Blacks. Protecting our Gohan. Very crucial card. Oh, 
Here comes the Zamasu. And we fail to search that again. That's what I don't like about this deck. You need to really fill it out with like Goku Black Zamasus. Or else some of your searches just fail. And it is a big deficit in your hand. But Vegeta is back. Goku Black swings. Killing off. And then I think Kefla is gone here. Now it's tricky because Top Crew hasn't awakened. He can't deal damage to Goku Black unless, you know, you put in the combo. You can still pull out the Kevlar's. But you only have so many of those. Another Gohan is kind of huge though. You definitely try to get rid of this Vegeta. And we are protecting our crit Vegeta. With only two cards. But with Goku Black still on the field, we can do so much. And being able to pressure the Gohan is just... Too easy, too easy. If we were awakened, if Top Crew was awakened, this would be a whole different story right now. A sickle, just for the backup. And now we have two free swings at Top Crew. One's probably going to get in. I mean, he could protect it. Super combo, yeah. And at this point, Goku Black is regaining the hand. <laughs> it's just sad that we didn't even get to uh, <laughs> play anything for our energy. And then look at this dead ass hand for. You could Whis. And to Beerus, I guess. Do you have to discard a card. And you get to destroy those two. This is actually quite a close game, Boke. Unless we're top decking something crazy. Which, I mean, we got Merge the Master, which is pretty good. More draw power for us. And we're bottom decking the Whis for free. So I think this Beerus is safe. Oh no, the sickle! The sickle! Cheeky sickle, man. And yeah, Top Juice is getting nothing. He's still charging, which he doesn't need to charge. He definitely does not need to charge. I don't know why he is even trying. He's losing a lot of cards in his hand. And he's getting nothing of value. And we finally... <laughs> Top Crew finally awakens right there. And he's just drawing all of these one drops. Your last hope is Basil here. Ultimate Gohan. Whis. You're doing so much to get rid of this Goku Black. And then you have to discard a card. Just to play this. At least it's 25k. Minusing. You're taking a life? Wow. I mean, you gotta commit with this now. You gotta play that Basil, search something. 
And then use Whis to swing. He should have Whis swung at Goku Black. What was he doing? Unless you know you can end next turn. This is dreadful. Let's see. Surely third time's a charm. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, there's GG's him here. Uh, two Goku Blacks. Still haven't even swung with one. You're picking up another four cards. It's Vegeta. It's just over. Good game, kitty. Our next game is coming from Gwispet... So I can't say that name. That's just a bunch of letters combined together. Um, if you want an ex unexpected ending, this is your next replay. Damn, he sold me on it. Android versus Beerus. More Beerus bullying because we haven't seen enough of it. Let's go. Some green gameplay. I think we did see a lot of green play. Green we did see a lot of green play in the uh, last... In the last, we did see a lot of green in the last reactions video, but it's always nice to see androids because they play somewhat differently to a lot of the other greens in a way. And uh, I just want to see, get used to it. Uh, it's one of the, as a blue player, it's one of my hardest matchups because they go wide so quickly. And so it's much more harder to deal with going against tall greens. But nothing played in the first match. Uh, with Roshi, it doesn't really matter, I guess, for us to swing. Not like top crew or anything like that. They can only pace themselves so much. But of course, keeping our 20Ks alive would be much better. Instant Awaken is insane, by the way. At this point, he should just swung for the critical. If he's already awakened. It could have maybe protected him from awakening as well. Maybe. Maybe. I ain't... I ain't genius here. But then he could have maybe got another critical in. Uh, then we have the Android's lab. Jero's lab. Uh, probably a staple now that everything's a little bit slower. 30k. Super combo. You know, that's kind of good value for Beerus. And then an Android 17. Ooh. With the Alita Awakened, this guy is kind of invincible. And honestly, if he doesn't swing here, he's wasted value. It's too early right now to not swing with Android 7. I think that's a big mistake everybody makes. Unless you are preventing your leader, your opponent's leader to awaken. Which in Android's case, I don't mind. As long as they're not at 6 energy. Like, it's just like protecting your face anyway. Unless you want to go to tw 3 life with Beerus ASAP. Like, you just swing with the androids, get the extra life out. Because you're just making it slower... ...for yourself to just get ramped up. Because now he's got that extra turn. And now he's at four. Now things get a little bit dangerous. I think once you see... Your, like, this is the turn where maybe you don't swing with, um... ...17, because... Uh, you know, androids... Well, not really androids, could be played, but like... Some fi high five cost can get played. Even actually, you know what? You, you could you can swing here. You could swing here. I really am an advocate. You need to. Nah, he's not going to. But he's got the board quite nice and healthy. We are lowering. Like, if you can swing here, you lose... You can at least lose a card from your opponent. Because they probably won't even go down to three. 
I get what they want to do is just like keep them at five, but you could have kept them at five the turn prior. Surely you would invest 10,000 <laughs> to protect yourself. Let's see, does Beerus protect one of the 20Ks here? The ramp is going. Like now, now you don't swing with Android 17. Now it's dangerous. You don't do that. See, like, you were going to protect cards anyway. I'm getting mad at this Beerus, knowing that he's not watching. <laughs> Another 17. This is all good. Maybe I just feel bad for Beerus, you know? Because we saw him lose so many times last time. <laughs> right, well, you can double strike, get the value early. Or you can play another 17. I don't know why he didn't just play Kefla. <laughs> what is happening? You do know the, 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 the goal of the game is to, like, uh, win? To get the life to zero. Yep, there goes two cards. And a heal. And you can still pressure and still be as annoying. 45 down to 40k means really nothing. <laughs> you have a waste of super combo with two cards. Now, Keflin to Gohan. What? What? The? I guess Gohan into Goku. Fair enough. Okay, that was an unnecessary swing as well. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Is it like... Are you like trying to... Is this Beerus trying to play like it's the ban list or something? Because <laughs> he already played the Roshi. What is happening? Okay, that does nothing. <coughs> um, but you just wanted body on the field. I don't know why you didn't swing. I guess you're trying to awaken. But at this point, it don't matter. You're just gonna get. It's just gonna get destroyed. Alright, uh, here comes the awakening. Surely. Maybe this this Beerus is trying to challenge himself, trying to get as many 17s on the board. Like 40,000 swing leader it would be insane. But we've already seen the spoilers on the comments. He had three Android 17s max. I just don't understand what's going on. Is he trying to deck him out or something? The ramps are going insane, though. He's going for the OTK. That's what it is. 
He's going for the one turn kill and then he's got the, the clash. What is it? The clash uh, extra? That's what it is. 45k. Oh, now the tides have kind of switched. Five cards on Beerus. There it is. It took a while for another Kefla to be popped out. Get a Pezla though. Look at that wide ass board, dude. Goodbye, Android 18. Okay. That's five characters, five swings. At this point, you sh <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't... <laughs> what is happening? What is happening, man? <laughs> Is this the true strat and I have been sleeping on it the whole time? Whoa, the desperateness. 35k swing. Broly though. I think as androids, you just want to finish off with double strike at this point. Popping the one singular Goku. Wow, what is the point, man? What is the point of this game? This is a ranked match, by the way. What is happening? Why are you KOing a card? <laughs> To reactivate the 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 Jiro lab and potentially I don't know. Let me guess. He's not even gonna swing at the leader. He's gonna use it to swing. <laughs> if he leaves all of these, the Goku active. Like, you were one card off for the reactivation of Juro's lab. Even though you had no energy to even use it. Are you gonna, be, are you gonna get to 20 energy? It's crazy how much energy space that you can't even use. I mean, you can go, wow. Wow, you can do that. <laughs> Kefla. At this point, you should just charge one so you can go double Kefla. <laughs> because what else are you doing now? He's finally attacking! It's a miracle! It is a miracle! Are we just gonna keep on attacking? Surely... Oh my god, it's it's finally working. 
He was just waiting for the double strike and then the whatever. What is this called again? The glimpse over here and glimpse the arrogance. He was just waiting for the glimpse to be drawn to finally do this one thing that he's always wanted to do. But with 16 energy. Bro, it is limitless. You have so much draw power as well. Oh my god. You can just ditch away stuff that you don't even want. Even though they're all 10k combos. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know if that was the right play there. Jeez, Cell Max. Let's get another energy. Um, extra energy, extra card. Then the androids. <laughs> Earth destroying blow. Gigantic meteor. This mirror actually could have won like a long time ago. Wait, this is this might get pretty close though with the Sutu. But nah, no shot. <laughs> what a weird game. I didn't like it. It hurt my soul, that one. I think we'll do a final game here with Kubi. I think the X is silent there. Yellow Vegeta versus Green Cell. This is an interesting matchup. I'm going to be betting Yellow Vegeta wins. I mean, he probably put himself as Yellow Vegeta here. So let's jump into this game. And yep, this is it. Yellow Vegeta is us. And we got Cell. I think it should be like... Uh, <clears throat> as long as we get Vegetas on board. Uh, it should hopefully be like a 70-40. 70, 70, should be like a 70-30 for us. Something like that. Pretty bad start for the cell. Nothing can be played for like 5 million turns. I don't... Get Bulma straight away. Got a lot of Bulmas actually. Guess if you don't see Kami, there's nothing he can do to us. Actually, I want to see how Yellow Vegeta plays a lot of the time as well. A nice extra card. We accelerating to awaken. We charging that. He actually runs the um, forecast freezer. Even though the only way to untap it is with Whis rewound. <coughs> And no swing with the second form Freezer. Even though I think he has plenty of self-awakening chances to afford that. But all good, all good. Sorbet. Ah, there's the top deck Vegeta we were looking for. Now, is this a double? Or are we awakening here? Are we taking two lives with this? Like, we get a lot of draw power now. Our hand should be pretty stacked. You get double draws here. Do you just... Ig nah, you don't ignore it. <laughs> it kind of sucks. And then the other one. Oh, yeah. It's time to gather a book. And then we also awaken as well. Oh, my God. Blue Vegeta. <coughs> I 
Uh, what cell... What is that? What's energy is that cell at? Is he at four? No, he's at three. So he can't even use his ability. And then we restand two energy. We got some nice um, extras in there. I think you actually protect this, right? Time rewound. Reawaken the other one, sure. But with these mowers in the way... <laughs> Oh, wow. We are really protecting it. We can get a triple draw if we can keep this alive, but it's kind of... Do you rest the other one? And then you... Oh, let's go. Strats for days. Just hope that there's no two-cost card that comes out. The protection of the bombers. Protect bomb at all cost. Another Vegeta. All right, this is it. This is it. This is too much. One Vegeta, doable. Second Vegeta, uh-oh. I thought you wanted to get rid of these um cantrips, but... The fourth bomber, I've never seen this before. Holy crap. I think, yeah, you just have to target face here because you're going to deck out if you use all of their abilities. Oh my god. Oh my god. One. Two. Another rewound. Three. Holy crap. Just keep in the, the extra one. You don't need to four draw. <laughs> That's crazy. You force you to use a gigantic media on this. It's insane. Huh. All right, and we keep the energy marker. Like, do you... What are you doing, Cell's position, man? Do you use the cantrips to take out the Vegeta so your Cell has value? I guess you get to take out one Bulma. That's pretty good. Oh, no. What? Isn't it all rested cards? Why don't you take out the uh, active Bulma? Oh, no. Never mind. He played Kami for no reason. I don't know why he... Pl I don't know why he didn't target this one. But one bomb is gone. The second bomb is gone. Okay, he's swinging at the... Oh. Uh, this, this opponent is shaky. <laughs> he's nervous. Still four energy. You could use destructive strength right there. With four energy. What is happening? What are these games? These games are so weird. <laughs> Another Vegeta because the, you didn't. Holy, we found four bombers. Are we going to find the fourth Vegeta at this point? Get the draw. <laughs> That's insane, dude. You know, you have no... Unless you find another Ginyu, there's no other one-drops that are that important to play. There goes Earth Destroying Blow. I mean, you can get Cell out next turn. But at what cost?
at what cost you you can't destroy anything anymore and look at this man's hand this man's hands at 11. make that 12 with two super combos and a that two energy extra blue power awakening Look at the layers! The layers of effects! So, Cell to heal. And he doesn't even have uh, Cell's games. So, he can't even get back to 8 next turn. At least he gets the extra energy. Yeah, you should be... I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. Like, No matter what... That Vegeta is getting protected. That Bulma might not be protected. The Vegeta's will always be protected. At this point? Okay. I was like, maybe just take the hit. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't have... Uh, you just might as well just use that. Oh, you can destroy it, I guess. But you're going to lock it anyway. You got four swings on this guy. Three cantrips, though. Interesting. I would have maybe waited to not show that, but... Oh, he's baiting him into it. <coughs> I don't you think you just let that hit go through. <laughs> All right, here we go. He picked up nothing important. He's got so many dead cards. Oh, okay. We're not going all in yet. Guess no need to. Gigantic media on this. Yeah, don't, it don't matter. Once you get to one, nothing matters anymore. Cell Junior for free is pretty good. Another super combo. Yeah, this is GG's. He's wasting all of his protection now. He only has uh, two instant Kamamehas. And two super combos. He should just charge that. <laughs> oh well, it's all over. You got seven energy to use. Another power awakening. Once the second Vegeta came out, it was like, okay, this is too hard now. <laughs> and once, like, three Bombers stayed on for, like, two turns, oh, yeah, it was definitely over. Uh, I'm just going to fast forward this because he's going to swing at this and then just goes all in. GG's, Kubi. GG's.
Yep, there it is. All right, that's going to wrap it up for today's replay showcases. Thank you so much for sending them in. Make sure you send yours in the comment section down below. Check out my social medias, link in the description. Join the Discord and everything like that. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Peace.